The milkweed that you're looking at is swamp milkweed, Asclepias incarnata, that I planted about two years ago in our garden. The female butterfly lays her eggs on this milkweed. What we're now seeing is the second stage after the egg, which is the caterpillar. This stage lasts 10 to 20 days in which the caterpillar is going to eat like crazy. He's going to eat these leaves up in an amazing speed. The caterpillar you see right now has uh, shed its skin four times. This is now its fifth instar, it's called. It's its full size. The little yellow bugs you see are aphids, oleander aphids, and they are not the eggs. So once the caterpillar is eaten all of the milkweed at once, it will migrate to another plant and will j-hang, as you see right here. And this will last from 18 to 24 hours, depending on the weather. And now you notice you'll see the exoskeleton is starting to split. Up in the lower left of the caterpillar, and you can see the green forming. This is the lining to which the caterpillar breathes and it's part of the exoskeleton and it's being pulled out as the monarch pulls away from its old exoskeleton. And it's forming what's known as its chrysalis. This chrysalis has got all the parts the butterfly needs. The heart, the wings, the antenna, the legs, everything is there. You can now see it's starting to wiggle around. It's going to drop that exoskeleton and only the chrysalis will be attached to the leaf that you see here. Now you can see the chrysalis gyrating. It's going to try to drop that exoskeleton. Watch it closely. Wiggling, gyrating. And there it goes. It's now dropped it. It's going to take now a few more hours to put itself together into nice, neat, compact form. And the exoskeleton that you see now has to harden. If you look closely now, you can see the chrysalis is starting to harden uh, on the bottom. This is now the hardened chrysalis. It will stay this way for about 10 days on average, a little longer if it's cool, a little less if it's warm. It will hang here until showtime. Near the end of that 10 day period, the chrysalis will become translucent, which time you can see all of the parts, the wings, the legs, the antenna, etc. So now the chrysalis begins a process of e-closing, which basically means it's opening up and letting the butterfly come out. 
the triangular part of the chrysalis exoskeleton that covers the antenna and the legs, and the proboscis opens first. And then the monarch, as you can see now, swings out and down out of the chrysalis. This is just another view of the closing process, which you can see now the entire butterfly after it emerges. Notice that just after each closing that the abdomen is very large. That's because it's full of the insect equivalent of blood, which is known as hemolymph. And also notice that the wings are very tiny at this point. The newly emerged butterfly is going to hang out like this for quite a few hours. And during this time, it's going to be forcing the hemolymph, that blood I talked about, into the veins of the wings, which will expand them. After a couple more hours, when the wings have fully expanded, the monarch will flap its wings repeatedly to dry them out, and then it's time to depart. We are heading to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs>